So how does that generate us? So there is ERA commons. Okay? So if this sounds like Greek to you, I'm going to explain what ERA commons is. So here, this is my lame attempt to show you the interconnection with all these systems. There's the NIH public access policy, the manuscript submission system, PubMed Central, ERA Commons, my bibliography. So all of these are intertwined, one to the other. Here's the ERA Commons. So what is ERA Commons? Any grant holder, NIH grant holder, has an ERA Commons profile. And this is where all their administrative work is done relating to that grant. So has anyone been is familiar with this? Okay. So all of the administrative task related to that grant is done through ERA Commons. So another insidious notice that came out from NIH about ERA Commons. So I'm going to show you what an ERA Commons profile looks like. There is different parts of it. There's a profile saying what institution they're at, et cetera, et cetera. And then there's something called publications. And the My Bibliography, in, which is part of My NCBI, feeds into that publication list in the grantees ERA Commons. And that's the only way you can populate that part of the ERA Commons. It used to be that people could type citations in. On June 10th, 2010, they said you can't do that anymore. You have to populate an ERA Commons publication list through My Bibliography. Okay? Again, they're always saying this makes everything easier. So the PI doesn't need to necessarily be managing that part of ERA Commons in the My Bibliography. They can assign someone to do it for them. And here are the steps um, that they would follow. Assigning. So it has to be the PI, the ERA Commons holder, goes into their My Bibliography and assigns the delegate to do all of this for them. So here is the My NCBI login. This is what it looks like. This has been out there for a long time. This has been out there even before the public access policy <laughs> went into effect. But then they started integrating this into the NIH public access policy, into my bibliography, and so on. So now everything, that lame chart I tried to show you. Um, this is what it is. My NCBI is, you can save PubMed searches. You can set up auto alerts for any kind of subject you want to see if there's anything new published. But it's also the my bibliography part is the part where you manage number one compliance and number two feeds into your ERA Commons or your faculty's ERA Commons. Again, they're always saying it makes everything easier for them but not necessarily for you at your end. So here's an ERA Commons window for um, an NIH grant holder. If you click on publications, this is what you get. So you can see the citation. You can see those that have a PubMed Central, and there's a PubMed Central ID. And if you look over on the far right, you can see that this ERA Commons holder is a principal investigator on a training grant. So you can see T32, that training, that publication got funded off of the training grant. Now, when it, that doesn't necessarily mean that the you know, PI is an author. It just means that the training grant funded was, funding was used, and when the deposit was made and the training grant was acknowledged, it went into the principal investigator's profile. Okay. So that shows you how this is all integrated here. So here is a ERA Commons holder who has ERA Commons, who's an NIH grant holder, and this is what their my bibliography looks like in my NCBI. So if the person you're supporting assigns you, it makes you the delegate, make sure when you go in there you see that little ERA Commons little logo. That means anything you do here is going to go into their ERA Commons publication list. If you don't see that, it's not linked. 
And the only way you can get it to link is to contact my NCBI and say, so-and-so's not linked, okay? The linking pretty much is done, uh, done, but there's still some people who their my bibliography is not linked. Got to make sure it's linked because anything you do here is not going to go into their ERA comments. So these are the little keys. If we look back here, you see there's little buttons indicating what's in compliance and what isn't. And this is what the little keys mean. Um, it's, it's not in compliance. You can deposit right from there by clicking on NIMS. Um, you can, you know, if it's NIH funded. Then there is the second one that shows it's in compliance, and this one happens to be a PMC journal in process. Okay, so the systems are intertwined. And then the green one shows it's okay, everything's done, there's a PMC right there. And then when you put something in there, which you probably don't need to do, go back and add things, it says you don't have to. It doesn't need to be in compliance, it's fine. And then there's the other one that has a question mark. So if you click on that, it'll tell you what the problem is for that publication in relation to the public access policy. Okay. So again, makes everything easier, makes everything easier. <laughs> so again, make sure the person, if you or even that, if they're managing their own My Bibliography, they need to see that little ERA Commons link there. Okay. So if you're the delegate or you are the principal investigator, you can log in in several ways. You can log in right through ERA Commons into My Bibliography. You can um, go to My NCBI and log in, and that would be a delegate's portal to log in to start managing the bibliography. So here is a list of things you have to do to add something to the My Bibliography. Go to the site, log in. So there's different ways. You can see there's um, the My NCBI login, which is where a delegate would go. And then the other side, which is another option for going in to manage the My Bibliography. Um, and you can see there's the UK PMC. That's the, for the people in Great Britain who also need to comply if they have welcome trust funding. So here is a list. This is a delegate's list who manages these um, uh, NIH grant holders, their bibliography. So this is what happens when somebody is assigned as a delegate. So they go in and they have everybody here that they have to manage their bibliography. So if they click on this one, they're put into their My Bibliography, and this is where they can start doing all the things they have to do to make sure everything's in compliance and that it's in their ERA Commons publication list. So you can click on one. You can see this one right here, number two. It's the training grant, okay? Because this PI is, is the PI on a training grant, okay? So how do you add something, start building the, this uh, bibliography? So you click on add a citation and this is where this integration is. Previously, people could just type in in the publication list. You can't do that anymore. So you click, you click that you want to add something. You go to PubMed Central, I mean to PubMed, by clicking on go to PubMed. This is the easiest way to find the publication. If you haven't used this, it's a great resource. It's called the Single Citation Matcher. And you can just put in different pieces of information to find the article that you want to add to the bibliography. So if you activate the Single Citation Matcher, it has a little table. You can put in different things. You can put in the author's name and the title or the journal name and maybe the first page number that the article st starts on. And then you hit the search button and it pulls up what you're looking for. So I want to add this to that uh, grant holder's My Bibliography. So I click the Send to the drop-down menu, and I select My Bibliography. And as you saw, that person had several um, bibliographies that they managed. 
So you would need to click the Add to My Bibliography and select from the list. Select Other. Make sure you don't select My because it's not, it's not going to go into the ERA Commons persons. So you need to select, if you have several, from the drop-down menu, whose bibliography you want it to go into. So I've selected the last option. And it says, OK. This is where we're going to put that citation. You click Save. Make sure you click Save. You'll know if it hasn't saved, so you need to go back and do it. And then you get the little green thing that says, this has been added to the bibliography. Okay. And now it's there. It's number two, but I want to assign a grant number. Even though the deposit uh, has been made and you assign, assigned a grant number, the bibliography also has to have a grant number assigned to it. And you see that what's really nice is because I'm in this person's ERA Commons, I have all their grants listed there, so all I have to do is check whichever one applies and do the save. And now there it is. It's in compliance because it's a PMC journal in process, but I've assigned a grant number to it. Okay? And this will go into that publication list in the ERA Commons. OK, so there's two buttons. There's the awards, which actually we saw when we were in that My Bibliography, that PI's awards were there. And then there's a search and add other awards. Okay. And this is what it looks like now. So there's the awards, which is the PI's awards right in the top, and then there's other awards. So someone else can check another, another award that they acknowledged that may have been acknowledged in the grant. For example, a training grant, a core grant, anything else. So they can check one of these, and then they hit the Save button. But if you're not quite sure you can find that grant, so the person that wants to assign an additional grant besides the one they assigned in the deposit can search for it, can either put the grant number or the, per, the PI's name. And it gives a list, either the grant, there, the first few uh, numbers of the grant or the PI's name. And then you get this list. So this looks like a core grant. P? Program manager. Yeah. So that's what they put in. And here is the PI on that. And they checked it because not only was their grant used, but some funding from this grant was also used. And then they save it. And this tells you that it's going to go into this, that PI's My Bibliography that someone has, has, done, has done that for them. It also adds it to, as you can see, it says, it also adds it to, to that database, which is nice. And then this is what the bibliography looks like for the person who you've added the other grant to. So it says, three citations have been added to your bibliography by somebody else, okay? which is nice. If you want to get rid of them, you have to click on the X button, you get rid of the message, and this is what it looks like. It's, it is sort of nice. I haven't tried it yet. So it actually does somebody a favor. Um, have you seen any of these yet? I think probably not. Since the it's new, yeah. Project reports for the training grants would all have gone out. Right, but it just came out, yeah, and that wasn't May or something for the training, some of the training grants. But anyhow, it's a new thing, so I'm sure they'll come across their desk um, soon. And then when you're in the, the, your bibliography, you can see that it tells who added it. It was added by another PI. Or the NIM system added it. So you can see how this is really like, it's like a spider web. Everything's all connected, which is sort of good. You just have to get used to it. Okay, we're ready for questions.